Hello and welcome to The Hindu. I am Priyali Prakash and you are watching Tipping Point, a weekly show where we dive into climate change events and the trends shaping our future. In this week's episode, we look at the highlights of the 2024 State of Climate Report, Nepal and Bihar floods, and an initiative that hopes to safeguard mangroves in the Sundarbans. Earlier this month, a group of researchers from the United States, Germany, England, Australia, China, Denmark, Brazil and Switzerland released the 2024 State of Climate Report which we should pay attention to. The report begins on an ominous note. We are on the brink of an irreversible climate disaster. The 2024 State of Climate Report analyzes recent trends in key indicators of how the earth systems are performing which can be used to track and assess environmental and ecological changes. A very worrying trend that has been seen in climate is the high values of global daily mean temperatures in almost half of 2023 and a big part of 2024 too. Both the global sea surface temperature and the average temperature near the earth's surface were recorded to be higher than the averages for the last 3 decades in most of 2023 and the trend continued this year too. Antarctic sea ice and even global sea ice extent remain considerably below their average values from the last 3 decades. Sea ice is a crucial indicator of climate change. When it melts quicker than expected, sea water levels across the world rise, flooding coastal areas and threatening life there. Ice also reflects more sunlight than liquid water and keeps polar regions cool. When it melts at a faster pace, More solar energy is absorbed to the earth's surface disrupting the energy balance of the planet. Overall, the study tracked 35 vital planetary signs and found that 25 of them are at record levels. Despite extensive research on how fossil fuels contribute to global warming, fossil fuel consumption rose by 1.5% in 2023 relative to the previous year. Renewable energy mostly in the form of solar and wind power also grew but fossil fuel consumption was approximately 14 times greater than the solar and wind energy consumption annual energy related emissions increased 2.1% in 2023 and china the united states and india were the top 3 emitters the researchers note that to combat climate crisis phasing down fossil fuels should be done quickly including climate change into education curriculum will also help raise awareness improve climate literacy and inspire action we absolutely cannot continue business as usual if we want to save the earth this week's extreme weather event of note are the floods in nepal nepal was hit by deadly floods towards the end of september which killed over 240 people left thousands displaced and many missing A new study by World Weather Attribution found that climate change caused by human activities made this extreme weather event around 10% worse. The 3-day rainfall period that caused widespread destruction and loss of life in Nepal broke many records with some weather stations recording over 320 mm of rain on September 28th. The extreme weather event also happened after the regular seasonal rainfall period, so streams and rivers were already full. The excess water caused them to overflow, leading to floods and landslides. The report noted that this event blocked all highways out of Kathmandu, which is the capital of Nepal and also its largest city. Many roads and highways across Nepal still remain partially blocked and are suffering from the effects of floods and landslides. The study also said that Kathmandu and Lalitpur, which is another important city in Nepal, are also susceptible to flooding because of their geographic locations and do not have enough natural drainage points the researchers tried to assess trends in observations and concluded that 3 day rainfall events have become about 18% more intense and over twice more likely but also cautioned that there are significant differences in data sets in a world which is 2 degrees celsius warmer than the pre industrial levels Climate models predict heavier 3-day rainfall events with even higher intensity of rain. Floods in Nepal are also bad news for bordering parts of India, especially Bihar. Rivers like Bagmati and Kosi, which were flooded in Nepal, also flow through Bihar and caused extensive flooding in the Indian state. According to the Disaster Management Department, 
More than 14 lakh people have been affected by floods in Bihar that started around September 27 after unusually high rainfall in Nepal. In today's Climate Hope, we're talking mangroves. Mangroves are a unique ecosystem. They exist in coastal intertidal zones and store carbon from the atmosphere in their biomass as well as in the soil and sediments. According to the United Nations Environment Programme, mangroves can store up to five times more carbon than forests on land, making them a crucial factor in our fight against climate change. They act as a natural barrier against storm surges and floods coming in towards land from the seas and oceans. They are also rich in biodiversity and host a variety of plants and animals exclusive to them. India and Bangladesh are home to a critical mangrove forest in the Sundarbans, located in the delta region of Ganga River in the Bay of Bengal. In 2024, the Sundarbans Eco Village from Bangladesh, which works in the field of environmental sustainability and community development in Sundarbans, in coastal regions of Bangladesh, won the Equator Prize. The prize is supported by the United Nations to recognize local sustainable development solutions. The Eco Village Initiative restored 150 hectares of mangrove forests and also provided renewable energy solutions to 3,100 families as well as facilitated safe drinking water for 12,000 people through solar part filtration systems. That's all from this week's Tipping Point. For more videos like this, please subscribe to The Hindu.